Yeah, it's so exciting. I mean, all sales are exciting, very nerve-wracking. Jake Warren, he's proven in the last few years to, you know, he's buying some really, really good horses. And of course, cash A, 60,000 um, guineas. 60,000 lies, John and Jake Warren He was really excited about her. We all were, but, you know, I could tell in his whole demeanour when he'd um, found her and when he showed me her and he showed me the breeze. And, you know, he said, you know, he calls me Uncle H. Uncle H, we've got to buy this. We've got to buy this filly. You know, she's really, really, you know, she's the one. She's the one. Anyway, so we, you know, we struck and we couldn't believe we got her for 60. We, you know, that's all wonderful at the sales when you get a horse and spend not as much perhaps you might think you have to. And I think, you know, stood up afterwards because we always stand them up afterwards and have a, a real good look and get even more excited. And he, you know, this filly's head is so beautiful. You know, her presence is tangible. Um, and then those key things like depth of girth and great quarter on her. And that's sort of something you just can't quite put your, your finger on. You know, as I say, it's a presence. It's something, something very special. Guinea's winner is, is extraordinary. We know how difficult it is. We've been doing it a long time. And we've, we, that was our, our first domestic classic in, 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 in the Pale Blue. We won the Derby for the Royal Ascot Racing Club with Motivator. Um, and we've won the Irish Oaks with Petrushka. Um, you know, it is, you know, it's the pinnacle of everyone's dream, but every horse you go out to buy, every yearling you look at, every breeze up you look at, that is what you're trying to do. Um, and I remember that from many years ago, John Warren, you know, staring at the horse and saying to me, Harry, so what can this horse win? You know, and, and, and trying to really evaluate, looking at the sire and the dam and the, the picture of the horse. Um, but ultimately, you're out there trying to win black type races. It's Cache, though, and James Doyle for the Guinea Salmon Cache! It, it is exciting because George is, um, that was what, only his second second year, I think, training, something like that. So, so when he took her on board. So, uh, you know, his enthusiasm, um, his exuberance was coming through, but very sensible, very measured, and, you know, you know very. You know, you didn't think, oh, he's just talking a lot of rubbish and young trainer, you know, doesn't have a clue. Um, it was obvious that, that everyone around this filly was genuinely very excited about her. So much speed, this filly, that we've always been very tempted and, and I think will try this year to come back to six, six and a half furlongs probably. If, if the trainer's happy and that feels that's the right way to go, then we, we might see her running in, a, in, a, in an important, you know, group one race over, over the sprint distance.